Pisces, there is a complex aspect that is impacting, that will be impacting you. Um, it's impacting Neptune, so it's going to be impacting you uh, for the next week and a half. And I going to go over it with you. Uh, Pisces, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. I always create an extended reading that I hope you guys will join me for a deeper message, more personal, more details. I will attach the link in, at the very top of the description box, and then I will also um, pin it to the top of the comment section, or you can join my Unbound membership to this channel. And guess what? You won't have to worry about those links anymore. You'll just have access to 12 videos that nobody but Unbound members get access to every week. So I hope that you guys will consider that. Uh, please remember to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. Pisces content specifically comes out every single Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific time. So remember to ring that notification bell and you'll get notified. And if you want to join me for daily tarot card readings, general messages, and live chats, that happens on my second YouTube channel, Astrology Motivation, and I'll attach the link above. Hope you guys will join me there too. What is this aspect? So, okay, it's actually a huge week and it's very powerful. Neptune, your ruling dignitary still in Pisces, is opposite forming an opposition to Mercury. And since Mercury moves qu pretty quickly, um, it, will not, it will not last for a long time, but for the next week and a half, it's going to impact you a great deal. Mercury controls our day-to-day -day communications, our thought processes, emails, little different, not, not the technology behind the emails, that would be Uranus, but the messages exchanged in that time, thoughts, intelligence, being able to work things out on a day-to-day -day basis. It's our lower intellect, it's our daily intellect, it's our daily communications. Neptune rules what is not ruled by time, it rules the darkness it rules the nebulous it rules the dreams it also rules faith it rules creativity so think about this when the two are in opposition your mind is not very clear at all and it will become very easy for you to get completely and totally lost in your own dreams or for your ability to make decisions to not be clear Right now, how do you escape this? You absolutely cannot. But a wonderful thing for you to do this next week and a half is just throw yourself into a dream world. If you can be in a play, if you can be get lost in writing a book or painting, if you can get lost in composing or performing, this is an exceptional time where you will become the dream itself and your words and your actions will have no seams. It will have no divide between you and the, the nebulous that you're living in. And that will be exceptional, exceptionality, and perfect time for you to shine because you know nobody will be able to believe it. You'll just be so good. Um, it's also a wonderful time maybe for you to really draw attention to yourself in that creative aspect. But things like signing a new mortgage, applying for a job, having to interview corporate style, taking a test, um, especially a standardized ones. No bueno. Absolutely not good. Reschedule it for the next, you know, it, it like reschedule it two weeks from now. You'll be sort of cleared of that energy at that point. Um, and it'll, it'll be a little, it'll, your mind will be clearer for you to be able to articulate things a little bit better again. Um, also, in the way that you communicate, you might not even remember what you say when you say it because you'll be so taken up in the moment or the, the feeling, the emotions of the conversation that you're just sort of going with the flow and saying whatever somebody else needs to say and you're creating a fantasy for them, maybe not even intentionally. So that could get you into some rough patches with promises that you make. So try not to make any promises this week either that would be not good. And it would be also very difficult for you to discern if other people's promises to you are really sincere or if they're really what they said they were. So the best place for you this week is really in, a, in, in your creative zone. 
and just just to get lost in your fantasy world so lost that that's what you create around you so that you will then be manifesting it into a into reality somehow so that you can share that sometimes life stings irritation something's been bothering you i don't know what this something is yet but i will figure it out if you already know what it is leave the comments below let me know what's been nagging you needling you not letting you be it's not killing you but at the same time it just won't let you rest it's like it's like that fly buzzing around your head it's it, it's a bite that you can't stop itching it's it's an it's an irritant it's something that's really getting to you and it's causing you to have a lot of emotions so something is getting to you and making you extremely emotional and it's got to do with something that happened in the past this is scorpionic energy double scorpionic energy and pisces energy so this is this has got to do with emotions and maybe even emotions that you locked away pisces it's been nagging at your heart for a while um that could also make your creative process a beautiful place of catharsis for you a beautiful place for you to put your pain a conduit for you to let it flow into in a world that you can control because it's of your design of your creation um, it's almost like great inspiration and I think this is why the wasp is really like it's it's nagging you it won't let you go it's it's almost like Mary Shelley Frank you know Mary Shelley when she wrote Frankenstein she she described like she just couldn't go to sleep that night she couldn't sleep it flowed out of her expect a time of like ridiculous like unavoidable creativity just let it flow out of you stay out of its way and just hold the pen you know hold the pen hold the paintbrush hold the microphone because that's just the best way to deal with this kind of energy um it's not in these cards okay what is bothering Pisces? Love. You got a shit ton of love that you're feeling. This this amazing feeling. And maybe even marriage? There okay. This doesn't make any sense. I said, what is bothering Pisces? Um I just heard this is it somebody else's dream that you're living is this what you really want or is it somebody else's dream that you've been sh you've been living in the space with this can happen to you a lot where you can get caught up in somebody else's dreams and goals and aspirations very easily because you become the fantasy with them and you kind of let it they it gets you carried away and so ultimately Pisces I, I really want you to like I don't know I don't know if you'll be, a, I really want you to understand that you could be caught in somebody else's dream right now. I know that sounds weird, but um, very real. You have three major on the, major arcana on the table. They're powerful. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, you have ace of cups, which is all about abundance and flow and love and really, really like connection and even marriage. And then we have oh, the universe, which is a game changer. Like it's like, almost like you're giving birth to something brand new. Um, and then you have the star card. This is something that you've aspired to. This is something that you're extremely good at. This is something that you will shine at. This is something that, um, um, I don't know it's just dreams come true and then we have strength card which is something around the full moon but I, I think this is it's not about the full moon it's about being able to bear tremendous weight and tremendous emotion and I said that's I said so what was that that's what's that's what's that's what's bothering you It's almost like all this love you feel is so heavy, it's making you stronger. That's interesting. But I gotta say, this is a huge time of like an out, almost like a breakout period in your life. Like what, it's a, it's a breakout period in your life. 
You've got the moon, you've got the stars, and you've got the, 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 the world. But you've got no sun. Pisces, there's always enough. Okay, I, I, I need to be not nebulous, God. What do you need to say to Pisces, please? What is objective perspective happening? Somebody's not being loyal to you. There's disloyalty. Be loyal to what you love. There's lack of loyalty. This is Cancerian energy. Um, it's lack of loyalty. There is a lack of loyalty. I said be real and be straight. And I already feel it's like, the more of the reality that comes in, the heavier you dig yourself into a fantasy that is counterintuitive to that, that convinces you of something else. I can only tell you what the cards say, but this is a message that you desperately need to hear. There is a lack of loyalty here. Somebody is not being loyal or you don't really want to be loyal to them. That is your truth and it is nothing to be ashamed of and you are not going to ruin the world, bring down the world, or change the world by going along with whatever fantasy you've been caught up in. But there is disloyalty here. Let's dig down into what is this disloyalty? Where is it coming from? Could have to do with disloyalty in your family. It could have to do with going against your family's expectations, but I don't think so. It could have to do with your family actually being disloyal to you or not being supportive of your dreams, your goals, and your ambitions. But I think mostly it's something that you're trying to escape from. It's something that you're not, you don't want to see, and you don't have to see it, but I hope that you'll at least open your heart and listen. Um, be loyal to what you love. Who is this person? Why is this, what is, who is this person? What, where is this disloyalty? High priestess? Somebody who has been advising you? Somebody who has been guiding you? Um, it's almost like the cosmos itself is deceiving you. Let's talk about that because I think it's important. It's like the cosmos itself is deceiving you. It's tricking you to think what isn't real and what is only a dream makes more sense. And this is about the lost in reality thing. This could also be a spiritual advisor tricking you, deceiving you, or just not being loyal. There's something here with not, it's almost like not trusting the universe, like not believing the truth of things. What the hell is that? Can we get more cards, please? Who the fuck is this? Enough with this facetious bullshit. Like I've, I've never struggled so hard to just Get the cards to talk. Oh, you're going to talk. Chop wood and work. You're very happy at what you do. Or there's a job that makes you feel a great deal of pleasure and a great deal of joy. I think this is causing a great deal of conflict with somebody that wants to be the primary focus of your attention. But your work is making you extremely happy. You love what the fuck you do. And ultimately, that's your priority right now, not them. There is a sense of somebody constantly nagging you and making you feel like shit about yourself because your goals and your ambitions do not align with their goals and ambitions for you. This person is part of your family. They come across as very wise and very balanced, and maybe they are, but that doesn't mean that they're compatible with what you want. And because you may be trying to make this person happy, this conflict is existing. I think you have to confront them and make it very, very clear. My priority is with what I'm doing right now. My priority is not getting swept away in some fantastical romance. You really love, this is an opportunity for a job that you love. And you might have gotten away from it for a while. You might have almost like gone astray, if you will. But there's a feeling of 
immediate balance that comes back into your life by doing what you love not it's not about being with somebody who you're in love with it's about doing something that you absolutely love and loving the work of what you do instead of instead of getting swept up in somebody's expectations of you this is also a great leap forward in your career life like i said your creative prowess and your ability to to your ability to communicate your dreams right now is exceptionality level. This is like writing the next Grapes of Wrath. This is like writing the next um, Alchemist. You know, this is like, this is, it's just, it's such an exceptional period for you that it wouldn't make any sense for you to not dig down and use this energy instead of being nagged and prodded. I feel like there's some sort of energy in your life. It's coming off as scorpionic, could be family cancerian it's definitely hidden it's not straightforward but it's been nagging at your heart or it's somebody has been nagging at your heart and now it's really starting to get to you maybe you're losing yourself deeper and deeper into your fantasies but that's still a sign of escapism it's still a sign hey i'm not happy here right i you're going to be really happy at work you know you you could have like I said, gone gone astray from this work for a while. Um, happy birthday, Derek Danny. Um, you could have gone astray uh, for a while. Uh, maybe you felt unloyal, um, but you had to figure. You had to find yourself. You had to. You had to try different things, and it, this actually made you a lot stronger. So that time wasn't wasted. But now you're, and now you're so much bigger, and you're so much stronger, and you're so much better than you ever would have been if you hadn't been the prodigal child for a while and gone and done other things or let yourself get distracted a little bit but now you're ba get back down to the brass tacks and you're going to you're going to soar you're going to soar so don't let anybody make you feel guilty about that because there's definitely somebody who wants your fucking attention who is this person um the fool so they're new they they don't know what the fuck they're doing. There's, they're a fool. They're a beginner. They're just starting out. Um, they do need guidance. That's true. Uh, maybe they took a leap of faith in you. There's somebody that you actually really want and were in a romantic relationship it, with. Um, it's in reverse. So they're very egotistical. They're all about the stardom and all, not about the talent. But in some ways, they kind of cling to you and your abilities to try to make themselves shine bigger and brighter. I don't know who the fuck this person is, but in, there's something about them. I think there's a lot of sex appeal and you may think that they're your wish come true. But the truth is this, they're kind of just glomming on to you. <laughs> um, it's like they're, they're definitely attracted to what you can do for them and you're attracted to everything you think them being attracted to you means. I don't know if this is, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of attraction here. Definitely. There's a lot of sexual chemistry here, throwing yourself into it blindfolded. Um, this person coming off as really a dream come true. But this energy here, maybe not feeling good enough. The sun card in reverse could indicate you don't feel good enough. You don't feel beautiful enough. But usually it represents ego and arrogance. Um... And then we have King of Wands here. That's Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. There's Aquarius energy here. It's almost like you're throwing yourself into a situation with a person that you legitimately think is everything that you've ever wished for. I am guaranteeing you they are absolutely not. They are absolutely not. This is a, this is a week or next week and a half where you could decide to get married to somebody. And you just get married after, a day after knowing them and think, oh, this is the best decision I've ever made. It's the worst fucking decision that you'll ever make. <laughs> because you are, you are legitimately lost inside your head right now. Do not make any legal decisions this week. Do not let anybody connect with your banking account this week. You need to hear this message. It is absolutely necessary for you. Get lost in your fantasies. Fuck your brains out if you want to, but wear a condom and don't let anything kind of pass into the, the realm of real. 
like let it all stay in fantasy because anything that ends up being real from this is not actually something that you're going to like. It's not. This this person you this is like leaping into a real a real chemistry that you have with somebody but this is an ego it's ego. It's either ego on your side or ego on their side. Um and this lack of loyalty, I would like to know what the hell that is. I would like to know what the hell that is. More Cancerian energy. You and your loved ones are safe. So this is the outcome in the future. So basically it's saying, Michelle's a little bit paranoid. It's saying, don't worry. You and your loved ones will be absolutely safe. Probably because, why is, so, so why is this dog in reverse? Why is this dog in reverse? That's what I want to know. Can you just let me know that really quickly? Why is this dog in reverse? Don't give me the high fucking priestess. Why is this dog spirit in reverse? Why is the dog spirit in reverse? Lovers. Sexual connection, sexual attraction. Justice. Partnership. This is Gemini energy. Libra energy. I mean, this could honestly be a really romantic... I don't know. This is this is romance. This is sweeping romance. Romance sweeping you off the feet. I said, who is this? Be loyal to what you love in reverse. It's coming out with the best cards ever. I don't like it. Should I trust any of this shit? I just want to know right now. Should I trust any of this? God, be straight with me. Knight of Cups, yeah, it's a sincere offer. There's some sort of sincere offer coming at you or coming into you. Okay. Okay. So, honestly, maybe this is the lack of loyalty. Maybe that's all your fear. Maybe that's a fear that you had deep down inside. Like, and, it, it, and you didn't realize how deep it had gotten. But maybe that's what it is. It's fear that you have to deal with because there's something you do in you that can't even that there's there's something in you that can't stay loyal or be loyal or believe somebody else could be loyal to you. Um, but why is this? I get, let's go to the extended. We need the extended. I'll see you guys there.